What's this Capricorn? Capricorn, Capricorn. Then we're going to be using the um, Tarot Deck Oracle. This one, messages from your angels. So all the Tarot and the Oracle decks can be found in my affiliate links in the description down below. So Capricorn, what's going on? So the first aspect is to take beauty in the ordinariness of your day. So when we simplify things and take satisfaction that our day is precious, this is the gift in itself. Many people don't realise that the gift of life itself is enormous. It's taken a huge miracle to be here. So when we think, oh, nothing's happening, um, it's so slow, it's not. Everything is working in accordance to your sole purpose. So taking time to gather your strength and the ability to enjoy sitting down, standing, lying down, reading a book, just enjoying the simplicity of life itself, then you get more satisfaction and positivity in your life to be able to move through those challenging aspects of aspirating. Aspiring. <laughs> Not aspirating. That's the wrong word. So here for Capricorns, we have morality. Where in your life are you utilising this morality? Are, moral, are your morals outdated? Does they no longer serve a purpose in your life? So it's being responsible for who you are and really gathering your common sense in a way of being responsible for yourself. Yes, morals are very good in society, but when they don't apply to you, maybe you've been brought up a certain way, maybe the culture isn't fitting your new way of thinking. Certain things are useful, very useful and important, and other things are like, hey, actually, I'm not going to believe that anymore. I have my strength. Um, some people believe that a certain sex is not the leading sex. So this has been passed on and the belief is there and it may or may not be true. So this is one aspect of m morals. So this person has locked their understanding away. They can't see, they can't feel. They're just existing. So don't be like this particular person. See things very clear and you can do that by living in the moment and looking at things in a very simplified manner. So for Capricorns, um, this card says lazy, but it is with an emotional um, feeling behind it that you've achieved so you can sit down. Yeah, I'm where I want to be now. You know, I've got the perfect situation going on. But one needs to do a little bit more to achieve that number 10. So it says, don't sit back on what you have. Keep aspiring, keep feeling, keep having the passion to make use of what you do have. See the vision. What are you looking at? Don't be blind. He is blind. Wearing sunglasses is blind. One needs to clearly see what's going on around them. Moving on. You have the abundance card. So it's like you've taken the blinkers off and now you can understand that with passion you can see a action and also a feeling. This is the yin-yang of the situation. The male part and the female part. And the understanding and learning that what you give in, you can re replicate. So this is the abundance of love, the abundance of creation within your life. So if you put in the, oh, I'm not going to see, I don't think I'll understand, I can't be bothered, 
um, aspect, then abundance is never going to jump up and, and meet you. There was a comment um, not long ago, and it was like it was like they were unwilling, in a way, to put in the effort. And they believed that it was just going to be handed to them. So that is either true or not true. But abundance in everything is what we're focusing on and what we're visualising and what we need in our life and what we have asked for, but is it right for us? And this is why it's important to let go of the strangulation of the idea of the feeling. So the abundance is the abundance of love that comes from the divine source that does provide everything but it has to be your sole purpose to learn that lesson whether you believe in that or not is a different matter so stop bowing to the people so there's a sense of exhaustion because this has been very tiring thinking of Am I doing the right thing? Am I the perfect human? Am I a, the right um, daughter, son? Am I doing the right thing for my children? Etc, etc. All these thoughts and processes that are keeping you small, uh, they're important, don't get me wrong, but when, but when we're trying to live someone else's life in living up to expectations, that is a trap. So this is very exhausting to keep trying to meet other people's standards all the time. As long as you come from love and you are being responsible in loving and nurturing yourself and others, then this is really good. It's still good to have the desire for the number 10, the completion of your heart. So what exhausting idea or action are you really kind of just being like a robot and it's going to break down if we don't put the life in the love in things do break down which is good because things do have to break down to be able to rebuild them stronger than ever before so this might take patience for yourself capricorns um this is a mother as you can see Pregnant, waiting, expecting, and she's very happy. She's happy in the peace that she's nurtured and she's creating. So this is one aspect of being ordinary, but it isn't. It's a huge miracle, birth itself. So what ideas and aspirations are you giving birth to today? Why are you having the patience to grow something and Understand that some things need to be let go of. So it does take a time, it does take cycles, but aim that this is a loving act to give to yourself and to others. So what else are Capricorns focusing on? Intensity. When we put action, we really have thought about stuff, hopefully, and are now putting into action the way we can create our emotions, the way we can create our abundance. So once you see the simplified aspects of being ordinary, you can then take action to the next step. Because we learn so much. If, if like, this card here, it's like a person walking through a field. That's very simple very ordinary we all walk from a to b but in this particular instance they've got trees and flowers and this tree is not ordinary it's been a miracle how tiny was that seed to grow to have the energy in it which is this card the energy to spark into a seedling and survive to get to a tree ordinary but magnificent and a miracle in itself. So all this abundance on this side is giving you hope and clarity that you can create that too. 
So for Capricorns, we see the comparison. This is all about the strength of character and the strength of your mind versus your heart and the flexibility of your heart and your mind. So sometimes it can be a negative thing and it will be if you use that um, circumstance to, in a way, just just destroy things. Um, destroy your love, destroy your ability to think that you are worth it. So this is important to have the strength of character to be flexible in new ways of thinking and understanding and growth. So, so this is a card where one needs to let go of a certain aspect and perhaps this is why you've had this card with the nine. It's like, yeah, I'm satisfied, but if you don't achieve even more and have the patience to grow things, then you might feel left out, locked out, and this pain that's surrounding your heart needs to be opened up and let all that toxin out to be able to see a new vision for yourself. So take action today in what you do want to achieve because this is the danger in the Ozo Zen of the Nine of Cups. You know, not achieving emotions, emotional satisfaction. So take time out, have patience to let go of what you need to let go of emotionally to be able to aspire to that 10. So we're going to ask your angels, Capricorns, what messages you need today. Okay, let's have a look, shall we? So your first message is Opal. Your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. So, so that's nice. So the patients um, with birth and children, these are also the gifts from wherever. So this is soul purpose journey. So just because you might be very young and you haven't got children or you might be very old and have loads of children. This is an important message because it, children are a gift and they've chosen you and they've also chosen their life purpose. So children teach adults and adults teach children, but our soul their soul might be older than your soul. Have you ever thought of that? So don't be too concerned if people have had miscarriages or have had children pass over. Opal is here to protect um, and guide you into understanding. Yes, it is painful. We know that. But their soul has done their job in this lifetime. And... We have to accept things on many different levels. So Opal here is just to say that rest assured things are happening for the divine good. Okay, so that can go by Miss Pregnant Dude. Your other message here is Astara. You deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise. See, so that goes very well with the comparison and compromise. So when you have this desire and dream, maybe some of you who are listening are trying to get pregnant or whatever. So it's the belief system and the desire. Because when you have the desire, where does that come from? Yes, it comes from the thought and your heart. But has it been planted there? by yourself a long time ago. So have patience and understanding about what life is about. Find the ordinariness and the abundance and put into action what you actually do want to achieve. So lots of love to you Capricorns and we'll see you again next time. 
Thank you for listening and do put the notifications on to get notified when I'm on live and you can ask questions to me free of charge. So do take care. Lots of love to you. Find all my um, decks in the affiliate links and become a patron if you like and we'll see you soon. Take care.